What is up guys and welcome to my bullet journal set up for the month of May and um, I was feeling all creative this month and I decided that I want to do like a nice teapot design that's filled with like flowers and such so um, that's going to be exciting so I started off by doing my design in pencil just penciling it in so that it doesn't look all weird and wonky and then I started with my red little flowers these flowers are very easy to draw guys um, you just start off with the three bigger petals and then you work in two smaller petals at the bottom um, yes not much more I can say about that then I used a pretty little green color to fill in some leaves and uh, that's what I'm busy doing now. I love a good brush pen. It's so easy to do little illustrations with brush pens. And you can really make something look like well designed. And you can make yourself look blurry artistic without having to be very, very artistic. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, um, I'm still busy filling in some leaves. And I used a brown type of color like a beigey color to just add some dimensions to my little leaves now i'm going in with a nice red color because i wanted to add some strawberries at the side of the pot and on the top itself i wanted to add a few daisies so i did the stamen in a nice yellow and i worked in some leaves with a very light and cool gray as you can see there, um, I don't know what to say in these voiceovers because you can see what I'm doing, but I'm telling you in any case. Now I'm overlining the teapot, the outside of the teapot. This is a uni pen pen and it's one of my favorite pens in the world. You get them in different nib sizes and um, I love them and you can also do watercolor and all types of stuff over it without it running. So I highly recommend the uni pen pens. Anywho, guys, I don't know if you can hear the rain and the thunder in the background, but um, it's a very nice thunderstorm at the moment here in Kenton Park. And this is my favorite type of weather. I love a good rainstorm. Anyway, this pen I'm working with now is my Cricut watercolor pens. And I absolutely love them. So I'm just filling in a few areas with the pen. And then I'm going in with a watercolor, like a brush pen. It's those ones where you put water in the base. And then you can lack a farf with it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going over that Cricut marker. And um, it's just creating a nice, like, watercolor look for the teapot. And... I have a few watercolor brush pens, but these Cricut ones, is it works like a dream. I'm filling in as I go where I need a bit of color and wetting it with the brush pen thingamabob and Bob's your uncle. I still have to do the top part, like the handle of the tea kettle, and this is basically what the design looks like. Now I have to go in and just add some details with a black and a white pen. And you just want to add some depth and detail to your design. Then I still have to do the May, which I'm using a nice brown uh, Tombow brush pen. Tombow brush pens are the best, guys. It's a bit expensive, not going to lie. So I just like buy myself a few for Christmas every year. But they are so nice. All right, now I'm just adding a little bit more details to the daisies on the flower pots. And Bob's your uncle. You have a very pretty teapot design for your bullet journal. Love it. Now I'm going to have to start doing the planning side because the bullet journal is not just for being pretty and aesthetically pleasing. You also have to use it to organize your life. Or Well, I use it to organize my life. So after I'm finished with... The last couple of details, I'm going to jump into the planning side. Um, I always start off with a calendar first. So this first page is where I put the calendar of the month. 
and then I can go and fill in any events or birthdays or you know that type of stuff that you don't want to forget so I fill that in at the beginning of the month and it keeps me nice and organized and it helps me not to forget something because sometimes guys I'm forgetful all right I, f- I forget things so since starting the bullet journal journey I have found it much easier to remember things so I just write it down immediately um this This layout that I'm doing now, I've been doing for a couple of months. It works for me, so I don't really change it up. But I do choose a new theme every month so that it doesn't look same, same. But the general layout is normally the same. On the side of the calendar, I do a to-do list where I put my to-dos, you know, things that I have to do in the upcoming month. And then I can just revert back to it whenever I want to refresh my memory. And then I also have a space there for social media where I track the following and all that type of stuff. So I can see how my social media channels are growing and I can keep record of that. And uh, this is basically my calendar page or my month in a glance, if you will. Sometimes I like to use my Tombow brush pens just to draw a bit of lines. I use it kind of like a highlighter and it just adds a bit of, you know, intrigue. And then I just repeated that floral design, yeah, just to, you know, add a little artistic element, if that makes sense. Anyway, I'm rattling on here, guys, rattling on. If you are at any point interested in what... Um, materials I used I did try to link it in the description but it's basically a mixture of brush pens the uni pen pens and also the um, hard nib brush pen which is also one of my favorites this is now my standard weekly layout so this is where I'm going to do my everyday to do's things I have to keep in mind, things that I have to remember. And then here to the side is where I do my weekly list of things that needs to be done, but that doesn't have a specific day. And then I fill everything in there and then I can mark on which days I finalized it. And uh, that is basically my weekly layout. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and um, I'll see you next month. Bye bye.